Hot Pocket. <laughs> Jim Gaffigan. We saw. And we saw him at a theater. It was at the, the Beacon Theater, which is here in New York in the city on the Upper West Side. I think that's the Upper West Side. I know it's on the other side of uh, Central Park. And it's in the 70s, like 70 something street. So it's definitely more upper and wester than I'm normally at whenever I go into the city. And uh, the theater was was really nice, like inside. Most theaters are, though, in my opinion. I mean, theaters that I've been to, like for like Broadway plays and and um, and shit like that. Like it's they're nice fucking buildings, like architecturally structured buildings. You know, like inside and like the design of them is is pretty cool. Um, Jim Gaffigan was. And is one of also one of the greats, one of the the top comics performing today, and he is one of my wife and I's uh, favorite. And although it was a, a theater, we we wound up having uh, we wound up getting uh, pretty dope seats. We were in a center orchestra row E, and it starts at A or at probably like double A. It starts in. Right, like they usually have like double A, double B, then A, B, C, D, E. So whatever it was like f- fifth, sixth row, and from the stage, and it was dope. You know, great seats. Um, had a really good opening act, uh, Ted Alessandro, which I hadn't heard of before, who had just like a hilarious bit about um, relationships and women treating the men that they wind up settling down with. The way that they treat uh, a live customer service rep once they finally get them on the phone or <laughs> like something like that. It was uh, really, really funny. And then Jim Gaffigan, again, another master of his craft, uh, definitely did not disappoint. And what was what was great is that because Gaffigan, I, he has my only, the only thing I don't love about Gaffigan is that he repeats some of his jokes from like special to special like most comics you know every joke that i mention in special number one i kill off and you know you won't hear them again maybe in a club or if somebody shouts it out and wants to hear it if it's like a favorite bit or something like that um then they'll say it again but normally like special to special it's like all like new material gaffigan has carried over um like some jokes from special to special and that like i don't like that part of it but it's all great shit you know but as a spoiled consumer of comedy like i want all new shit all the time you know to laugh my ass off every second of every special and obviously that's not that's not realistic um so i was i was hoping it was going to be at least like some new material uh, for this, for, you know, seeing him live. And we were both pleasantly surprised that it was, I think, 95% all new shit. And it was great, polished, like, ready for special material, in my opinion. Definitely in line with with uh, his other specials that that I've seen. And then after the show, he... Which was cool, him to, um, doing it in this way. After the show, he came out for his encore. Like, after the show was over, um, he, you know, left stage and wound up, like, coming back out for an encore. And he did, like, another, I don't know, like, five or ten minutes. And it was all, um, like, I to me, it was new. Um, but it was, like, uh, Hot Pocket stuff. Because he... he has like a super popular hot pocket bit that he st- he started doing like different versions of on different specials and like whatever if some somebody says the comedian that says jokes about hot pockets like everybody knows it it's Jim Gaffigan like that's like his shit or whatever there's a lot of jokes about food in general um but hot pockets was one that he definitely popularized hot pockets and um that was like a little cherry on top to the treat of 
the funny evening that was seeing Jim Gaffigan at the Beacon Theater with my wife, who's always for me fun to hear her laugh because she has like a like a a loud, distinct <laughs> laugh, at least to me. And um, it's fun for me to see her happy like that. 